Hello everyone. I get a lot of comments from people having an issue defeating the God Skin Apostle in the Divine Tower of Kaelid to obtain the God Slayer's Great Sword to complete the God Slayer's build. So in this guide, I'm going over the easiest method you can use to effortlessly defeat the God Skin Apostle as well as end up with over 200,000 runes. But more importantly, we are going to do this without leveling at all. So let's get started. In order to achieve this without leveling at all, I had to start as Prophet. After obtaining Torrent from Mana, get 2 Gold Pickle Firefoot to increase the number of runes you gain by 30%. One would be at the beach, and you can easily descend there by using the air vent close to the first step site of Grace. The second one will be on top of a small hill over here on the map. After that, we want to obtain Fever's Cookbook to be able to craft Sleeping Bots. You can absolutely do this without Sleeping Bots, but in the spirit of speeding things up and making it a lot safer, we will use them. Go to Fort Height and pick up the left half of the Dictus Medallion. After that, we will pick up the Morning Star Maze from a broken caravan over here. Not so far away, you can obtain the Poison Mist Incantation from a Teardrop Scarab. In the graveyard close to the Church of Pilgrimage, you can pick up two Blood Grease Enchants. Now, go to the third Church of Marka and use the portal behind to teleport to the Bestial Sanctum in Kyrie. Ride all the way south and use the air vent behind the minor air tree to reach Fort Ferris. The next step is optional. You can buy the beast repellent torch from the isolated merchant over here on the map. This will scare away beasts like rats and snails and cause them not to initiate fights with you. Go inside Fort Ferris and obtain the right half of the Dectus Medallion and Radagon's Sword Seal Talisman. Now, equip the Morning Star Maze, the Talisman, enchant your weapon with Blood Grease, and start smacking the big white dragon. Refresh the Blood Grease on your weapon, and just before she dies, use the Gold Pickle Power Foot. You will be rewarded with almost 100,000 runes and 5 Dragon Hearts. After that, go to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, and interact with the altar to buy Rotten Breath Incantation for 1 Dragon Heart. Now, go to Stormhill Check in Limgrave, and go around Stormvale Castle, to access Lorinia of the Lakes region. Talk to Raya over here on the map, and she will ask you to retrieve her necklace. Buy her necklace from Blackguard, and give it back to her to receive an invitation to Volcano Manor. Now, use the Dexus left to access Altus Plateau, and you will find Raya as you leave the elevator. If she is not there, you can find her near the Earth Regazing Hill, Site of Grace, over here on the map. She will take you to Volcano Manor where you can talk to Lady Tannis and obtain the Drawing Room Key. Use the key on the first room to the right and follow this route. We are doing this to obtain the Albanioric Mask and be able to use Rotten Breasts without investing any points in Arcane. Okay, we are almost ready to face the Gulskin Apostle, but we haven't crafted any sleeping boss yet. Go to the Church of Ella and buy the crafting kit and three cracked pots from the merchant. You can buy one more cracked pot from the merchant near the Castle Moon Rampart site of Grace. The ingredients for sleeping boss are mushrooms and Trina's lilies. Go to Folly on the Lake site of Grace and head north to pick up plenty of mushrooms. If you head south from the same location, you will end up in the swamp near the village of Albanyorix, where you will find around 11 Trina's lilies to pick up. Keep in mind that mushrooms will spawn every time you rest at any site of grace, but the lilies will not.
Now we are ready to face the god skin of us. Head to the Divine Tower and get it and find your way up there. I will show you the path that I used to go up the tower and descend to the basement. Once you reach the basement, make sure you have both Rotten Breath and Poison Mist equipped, but you need a seal to use them. The Prophet starts with the Finger Seal, which can be purchased from the Twin Maiden Husk at the Round Table Hall. Have at least 5 FB flasks, craft your Sibin boss, and enter the boss fight. As soon as you enter, go left and hide behind the pillar. Most of the comments I get are people saying that the boss reaches and attacks them even behind the pillar. To prevent this from happening, keep running into the corner as I'm doing here, to force the boss to back off every time he gets closer. As soon as you see him battling back, go out and spray him with rotten breath. Wait for him to battle back again and throw a sleeping bot at him, then approach and cast poison mist to inflict him with both the poison and rot damage over time effects. As you can see, he will not wake up from the damage over time. After he wakes up and the damage over time fades away, apply two rotten breasts the same way you did the first time. Similar to the first time, throw another steaming bot and cast one poison mist. Right before he dies, make sure to use another gold pickled power foot to receive more runes. If you are following the guys so far, you will end up with over 200,000 runes, the Gulfstar's great sword, and above all, we did this without leveling at all. I hope you enjoyed this small guide to obtain the Gulfstar's great sword. Make sure to check my Gulfstar's build to put this beautiful weapon to good use. If you have any questions regarding this guide, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.